How's it going everyone? This is MedCat here, and today we're going to take a look at the biochemical structure of nitrogenous bases. And the first thing I want to bring up is, yes, actually, the AAMC does expect you to be able to recognize and differentiate these based on their different chemical structures. You don't need to necessarily be able to draw them from memory. However, I think that's a really good test of whether or not you truly know the structures well enough to be able to differentiate them on test day. Therefore, I recommend that you memorize these structures that I've drawn below, and we'll get to urinacil, uracil in a little bit, as if you were preparing for memorizing the structures of amino acids just the same way. And I'm going to link in the upper right hand corner to my playlist on amino acids in case you haven't seen that already. But to get to the task at hand, I think it's a good idea to chunk and organize these different nitrogenous bases into their different classifications. So first things first, we're going to take a look at the purines, and our mnemonic for this will be pure AG or pure gold, because AG is our abbreviation for gold on the periodic table. And then we'll have CUT, or cut the pi, where PY stands for pyrimidines, and CUT are going to be cytosine, uracil, and thymine. Now purines are two ring structures, as we can see with adenine and guanine, and they're going to be very similar. They differ in some functional groups, specifically at these atom positions here, but very similar at the end of the day. Whereas pyrimidines are going to be single ring structures. One other useful thing to help memorize thymine and uracil is that thymine is actually just uracil with an additional methyl group, whereas uracil is thymine without this additional methyl group here. Therefore, if you know uracil, you know thymine, and if you know thymine, you know uracil. Cytosine is going to be a little different, kind of in the way that adenine and guanine are different from each other. Cytosine and thymine are different from each other, and cytosine and uracil are different from each other. At the end of the day, this video is more of an injunction to you to memorize these structures so you can gain some additional points, especially in the bio-biochem section of the MCAT. That's it for today's MedCAT video. Feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, and check out my comprehensive amino acid playlist, which can be found in the link in the description below.